Working? I can't see you. Are we on? We're on. Hey! <laughs> Happy Monday, everyone. Good to be with you. Um, for those who have cellar sizers or rebounders, we're going to do something a little different in a few minutes. We're just going to work on unwinding. I think all of us, or a great many of us, are under a lot of stress. And in the world itself and the conditions we're being exposed to today can affect our overall mental as well as physical health. So we're going to do some, I'm just going to take you through some movements that are designed to help you feel better and be more relaxed and hopefully have a, a better night. And these are things that you can do in the future too. So let's read some customer reviews and then we're going to answer some questions. Uh, it'll be a shorter night tonight, um, but it, uh, it should be should be helpful. If you have any questions, please write. Brooklyn is on right now, and Christine is, I'm sure, on um, at her home. Um, Brooklyn, if you could kind of feed some of the questions that come, that'd be great. We're going to also go through tonight some of the, the issues that people have been having um, when they first start off with seller size. So we're going to talk about how to address some of those issues and um, some of the different approaches that we can take on the seller sizer. Okay. Nancy writes, I don't have before picks, but I can't say enough good things about my seller sizer. It's amazing. I've never really liked exercising until now, so I thank you. Trust me when I say I was never really what I thought was overweight, but according to the medical Weight advice, I was 5'2", and I was 138 pounds. I'm now 122, all since April of this year, using only the cellar sizer, and I've changed my diet. Vegetables, for sure. <laughs> and I always drink one half my weight or more in ounces of water a day. Just wanted to share with you a bit of what I'm doing and my progress, and you say we're family now. I'm more pleased with my purchase of my cellar sizer. And wanted to say again, thank you so much. Thank you, Angie. Appreciate you. Oh, yeah, there's a, there's a picture of Angie, too. She's uh, looking good. All right. Karen writes, good evening, Dave. I just finished watching your Facebook Live broadcast August 31st, 2020. Thank you for sharing your story. I've been part of your cellar size family for over a decade. My father was an advocate of your rebound technique and unit. He has my encouragement to purchase my, he encouraged me to purchase my own unit. I am grateful for your commitment to health and getting credible information out to others concerning how we can take personal responsibility for our own health. Your sincerity has touched my heart. I am grateful for your weekly encouraging videos. My cellar size journey has not always been consistent, but I have recommitted myself these past few months and tonight's video is a turning point to solidifying that commitment. Some of these I think I know I've read before. I don't know if I've read them to you or not, but um, they're still worth hearing. The Cellar Sizer is the real deal, and it truly does offer the benefits that Dave Hall talks about, exclamation points. My husband has a low-functioning gallbladder, and it will at times cause him much discomfort. Every morning he gets up and bounces for 15 minutes. This morning his gallbladder was causing him much discomfort, yet he still decided to bounce. Guess what? The pain went away. Five exclamation points. He couldn't believe it. Also, his varicose veins are not as prominent. I have five children. Because of that, I at times will sneeze and, and pee just a little. And sorry for the TMI, TMI. I have been bouncing faithfully since I joined your, your program, which has been since the end of August, and I have no issues with incontinence. I swear, rebounding on a cellar sizer works, exclamation points. My husband and I have used a cheap rebounder in the past and never had these kind of results. Maria. We're going to talk a little bit about why. What makes a cellar sizer different? Why does it work when typical rebounders can't seem to offer the same benefits? Well, there's, there's reasons for that. And it's how they're, how they're built and, and what kind of support they give you. And it does make a difference. Linda writes, and I'm going to be working with Linda, I think, in the near future. She's down in uh, uh, Baja, California, and is a real strong advocate of rebounding as well. I've received so many wonderful compliments on my latest 
profile photo and say another thank you for all the kind words. I really am feeling better than, I've, than I ever have and thought I would share what I have been doing for the past few months that has so improved not only my body, my skin, but also has made a difference in my mind or clarity, which those in my age bracket can relate the importance of. Laugh out loud. <laughs> those of you that know me, know me well, know that I've all, I always share whatever it may be that I find and strongly believe in that may be of help to you too. What I've been doing is rebounding, sharing a link for you to understand the health benefits. It really is, without a doubt, one of the best things that I've done for my health and well-being. And then she actually puts the link to one of the YouTube programs on her, uh, her note. I appreciate that. Maria writes, I follow Dave Hall mostly and then just play around on it. Any bouncing is moving your cells and working all of your muscles. It's crazy insane how it works. Yeah, I can relate to that. Okay, I joined, Patty writes, I joined in the spring during COVID. I purchased a bee bounder from the shopping channel, but it didn't, but I didn't like the bounce. I sold it and bought two seller sizers on Facebook. I will be taking one of them to my condo in Mexico to leave there, and I spent six months in London, Ontario, six months near Huatuco, Mexico. I am looking forward to bouncing on my balcony overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Don't worry, I'll post lots of pics. I love the exhilaration of solar sizing. According to Fitbit, my cardio is now in the excellent range for women of my age. And Angie writes, a couple years ago I was Googling, of course, and I came across rebounding. Okay, and then all of a sudden Dave Hall's solar sizer pops up. I regret to say I took two years before I purchased the solar sizer. I did, however, purchase a cheaper model. Until this past April, I finally purchased from Dave Hall in zero comparison. My cellar sizer is amazing. I've seen a lot of changes in my body and also have taken, been taken off arthritic meds for my hands. No more pain. Strange also how I have fewer wrinkles. So cells in my body are repairing my skin as well, as the skin is the largest organ of the body. Amazing. Great job, Dave Hall and all of you at Cellar Sizer. Well, thank you very much, sir. All right. Katrina writes, COVID-19 was the beginning of my journey. I decided to start eating better, joined Noom and started walking in the mornings. I began to have sciatic nerve pain and wanted to try an exercise that was low impact, easy on the joints, and so I began my search for rebounders. I ran across Dave and watched videos and read the testimonials on the website. See, all of you are making a difference. I was so impressed with the personal touch from Dave, so I ordered the cellar sizer in May. My sciatic pain went away quickly. I did tear my meniscus, not cellar sizing, but that's all better too. Still walking, still bouncing, and loving it all. Best decision I ever made. So thank you, Dave, for your information. Down 19 pounds. Thank you, Katrina, for sharing. Okay. So I had, I had some questions, and some of them regarded feet. And I thought, well, let me, let me put a couple of these together. And I'd like to address feet issues, because there's a fascia that runs. In fact, you've probably heard of plantar fasciitis. There's a fascia that runs all over the, throughout the body and in the feet as well. And if there's injuries in the fascia or if the fascia has been injured and if it's really tight and we start to cellar size, cellar size promotes uh, flexibility. And if those, if that fascia and those tendons are not flexible and we're on a cellar sizer, it can be a little uncomfortable to begin with. So there are some movements that we probably want to avoid while the foot is becoming more flexible. Um, over time, it does that. Uh, but the kickouts from behind, when you kick out and come down, and I don't know if you see this, Brooklyn, but when you uh, kick out and come down like this, that can put a lot, of, um, a lot more stress on that fascia area. So we might want to avoid that while we're building up, up the foot. 
the side to side motions are really helpful. But one of the things that I've suggested um, for a long time is that if you're noticing any foot issues, I encourage people to be barefoot. Check with your doctor or health practitioner, but barefoot or on, with socks so that the foot will become more flexible to your alignment and not flexible to the shoe, which is more restrictive. Wearing shoes on a solar sizer can actually create more pain in the feet. So not wearing shoes will cause the muscles and ligaments to start to move to support your natural alignment. But that being said, wearing soft soled slippers, slippers that have a lot, you know, good flexibility, but a little additional support that can be helpful to people that are noticing some of the foot issues while they're first beginning with the solar sizer. So that's a, it's a good, good, good point. All right. So this one says, I have pain on the tops of my feet. I think it might be tendonitis of the extensor tendon since it's on the tops of my feet. Jerry said, baby bouncing, especially baby march, oh, baby marching, will gently massage the feet and the tendons. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to lift my heels or just push them down on these two moves. I'm also not sure how gently to do these. How much is enough to be effective, but not too hard on my inflamed tendons and feet? If Dave would kindly demonstrate how to do these moves, I would be grateful. And how long should I do them this time, each time? Multiple reps, how long should I continue doing only this before returning to more aerobic jumping? Also, I'm on my feet all day for work and usually don't have, don't get home until later evening. I'd love to do something to gently move my feet, calves, shins, and maybe even hamstrings that won't wire me up and make it difficult to sleep. Thank you. That's perfect for what we're going to be demonstrating tonight is how to unwind and how to release the stress and tension, increase circulation. But to address some of the issues on the feet, standing on the cellar sizer and increasing circulation through that pumping action, this is flat footed. When I'm flat footed, I'm still getting movement up and down. So the tissue is still being challenged, but it's not being challenged very aggressively. Lifting the heels up and down and doing a gentle twist has a lot of benefits, but the movement in the foot also, because the foot is still having to move to support those movements. Standing on the cellar sizer and yes, lifting the heels up and down gently. You can do it more aggressively, but initially just gently. As you're gently lifting the heels up and down, you're working all the muscles underneath your arches and underneath the feet. You're also working the tendons off. So if the tendons are hurting, again, wearing some soft soled slippers, standing on the cellular sizer, gently rocking side to side. Well, we're not having a lot of movement in the foot, but we're getting circulation to the foot. Generally, what we find out is when people take that approach, within a few minutes, the movement up and down helps to massage the tissue. So it becomes more flexible so that then they can do some more aggressive activities. And it's been, been helpful for all kinds of issues, whether it's foot, whether it's the hips um, or the back or even the, even the shoulders. So hopefully that'll help. And then I'll share with you uh, some techniques in just a few moments. Hi, a friend asked me to put this question out there. She has some problems with the veins in her legs. She has restless legs, and if she drives for extended periods of time, her legs generally feel heavier. Her doctor prescribed thrombosis socks and Daflin, although don't know the equivalent in the USA, which she takes, but she still suffers. She was wondering if sizing would be beneficial, and if so, which exercises would be the best? She has a cheap tramp, and I have a sizer which I, I'll happily lend to her if she wants to compare. Thanks for everything you do. All right. The unit you use can make all the difference in the world. All of it. I mean, it's just dramatic. In fact, when I began, virtually everybody in the industry, they all utilize these little tube springs. <laughs> I do not at all recommend doing my exercises on these tube springs. They don't represent NASA's research well at all. NASA's research is what led to the development of the solar size and created the G-forces that we have to create a weight-bearing activity, but without a jarring effect. These will stretch only a little bit, and then they stop very abruptly, just as if you landed on the ground. So real important to, 
to be careful if you know anybody who has a unit like this, that jarring effect can actually cause more damage than benefit. And I think I've mentioned in the past that Dr. Morton Walker actually wrote an article in the Townsend Letter for Doctors where he, had, he <laughs> advised doctors to avoid those units. He said the abrupt jarring effect was the same as landing on the ground. He just did it a moment later. So this is when I came up and we've got, this is patented technology. If you have a cellar sizer, you have the tridaptable spring. The tridaptable spring has a larger diameter in the middle and it has a ridge where it tapers and then another ridge where it tapers yet again. So it's the only self-adjusting type spring, design spring of its kind on the market today. It doesn't matter whether you are 20 pounds, you'll utilize the center portion of the spring, much softer. If you need more spring as it graduates to the next ridge and the next tier, it gives you the support you need. But without being too soft, um, there are some that are just soft bounces and they, they're just, they don't have enough resistance. And we need the resistance to open up the valves, to move fluid, to create the weight bearing activity so we can get the benefit. And if units get too soft, your feet can pronate as you land. We don't want that. Solar sizer helps resist the pronation of the feet. But, so that's, uh, that's the spring design that I introduced to the market and to the industry. And that's what, and you get 36 of those around and you're bouncing up and down, you're gonna feel that difference in, in that support. Okay. What can I do for hand and grip strength? Okay. Having numbness in little finger, in ring finger on left hand. Is anyone else experiencing this? Maybe a carpal tunnel, not sure what I can do for this if possible. I'll share with you one of my stories. When I was working on our parking lot at our office, uh, I was putting in these steel poles um, as kind of guard rails uh, so people don't run into the building. And, and I had a jackhammer and I really wanted to get this done quickly. And so most of the people who had been jackhammering with me, they'd all stopped. They'd all stopped. <laughs> I didn't. I just kept going and I was throwing a jackhammer around. You're not supposed to do that, but nobody told me. So I'm throwing this jackhammer around as I'm jackhammering these boulders and, and getting down. Okay, is that good? And sorry for the technical difficulties. Um, but I was throwing that jackhammer around and I found a Dynaflex or a Dynaball on Amazon. <clears throat> and I started doing this little... No sound? No sound? Yeah. Still, really? Okay. It's now it's fixed? Thank you. All right, so tell me if it goes off again because there may be something with the transmitter. So I got a Dynaball on Amazon.com and it's got a gyro in it. I started moving it around really, really fast and moving my arm up and down as I was doing it. So I'm on this cellar sizer. With the, somebody mentioned the other day, why don't you get two of them to do that? Interesting idea. But it was a gyro and I moved it up and down as, um, as I was bouncing. So one, two, one, two, just like that. And within, within a week, two weeks, it was gone. Everything's fine. 
But that's a great little tool on the subtle side because it doesn't just work the muscles, you're pumping fluid. You're working the muscles, but you're pumping the fluid with the subtle sizer to help reduce any inflammation, increase circulation, and promote faster healing. Yeah, I was amazed at how well it worked. So for strengthening a grip or for working on those areas, that's something you might want to you might want to look into. All right. As a beginner, is it normal to have cramping in calves and feet when jumping? <laughs> Most all of us can say yes. The moving up and down on a cellar sizer, it works. It's really helpful at exposing weaknesses in the body. The weakest area of circulation in the body is generally in the lower extremities because it's the furthest area from the heart. So when we get on the cellar sizer and we start to move up and down, we're working the calf muscle. And the calf muscle is flexing. And the move it up and down is pumping. And so we start to increase circulation back up to the heart, making it easier on the heart to move that circulation while we help to reduce edema, swelling, and varicose veins. So that movement up and down, it literally just helps assist in increasing that circulation. But initially, it usually goes away within a couple of weeks, if not sooner. Um, initially, that generally we feel that because it's a weak area of the body. And cellular size is intense. As many of us know, we don't want to, when you first approach it, you want to approach it easy. Okay. If you have good balance, is the bar necessary, a necessity? Is it for particular exercises? Well, the balance bar is literally a balance bar initially. So as we're starting to challenge our balance, our rhythm, our dexterity, hand-eye coordination, doing all these different movements, vestibular balance, etc. We're challenging our body, and so we're, the, the brain and the nervous system is going to adapt. We're going to get better and better. But initially, when we're getting started, it's it's helpful to hold on to something. After we get better, the balance bar then becomes the performance bar, and then we're able to put more effort, create more leverage. I talked about this, I think, a couple weeks ago, in our different movements, so that we can enjoy more intense and better benefits. I purchased my cellular sizer in April. Thanks so much. My question is, <coughs> excuse me, is it common to notice changes on one side of the body before the other side? I have noticeable differences on my left side. My left leg, my left arm, definitely better. I see muscle tone. However, my right side is better too, but not as good as my left side. Just wondering if this is normal. I'm loving my left side Lots of laugh, and I love my cellular sizer. One thing that nobody really is talking about is that the strength of the body is incorporated not just within muscles, but within fascia, with ligaments, with tendons as, as well. And they grow stronger also. So if we have a, an area of the body that is weaker, but we're putting the same amount of weight on both sides of the body, the side that's weaker, we may notice results first. More, it may be more prevalent until the ligaments and the tendons and the fascia catches up with what is on the right side and vice versa. So, yes, it, it, it can happen. Generally speaking, though, what cellular size does is it will ultimately create balance within the body. And we notice this with golfers. They have golfers back or baseball players or tennis players. When you utilize one group of muscles repetitively more and more over another group of muscles, it can cause an imbalance in the body. So one of the techniques that I teach on the cellular sizer is to stand on it and just gently do the twist. You're not favoring one group of muscles over the other as you're doing that. So the muscles that might be tighter start to loosen up to balance with the muscles that are looser and vice versa. So hopefully that helps. All right. We could keep going. Well, you want me to demonstrate or you want me to read a few more? What are they saying, Brooklyn? Okay. All right. Because we can always read some more next week. But I want to take you through. So let's, if you got your cellar sizer and you're ready, let's, uh, let's unwind a little bit. 
and let's enjoy some of the benefits that the seller sizer has to offer. So um, doesn't matter what age you are, if uh, hold on to the balance bar. These are going to be simple, gentle movements. If you have a um, a meditation program you like to play, why that has um, subliminal messages to it. Playing those subliminal messages, and someday I'll do some of this. Playing those subliminal messages while you're on the cellarizer helps to helps the brain itself retain and be more receptive to those suggestions. Because as we're using the brain, or as we're cellarizing, we're using up to ninety percent of brain activity, and so the brain is being very stimulated. And as we're moving up and down, we can take that stimulation and because there is a chemical process occurring within the brain, we can leave a stronger impression on that brain at, at, at the bottom of the bounce. And so, again, it's the same principle that we're using when we're working with children that have dyslexia or, um, or people that have had strokes and we're, trying, we're working to retrain or train the brain. So, again, if you have a medical condition, always consult with your doctor. Feel free to have your doctor give me a call. But let's start off. Can they see all right, Bricky? Mm -hmm. All right, good. So what we're going to start off first, just the health bounce, the baby bounce. I want you to put your fingertips straight down. Focus on the tips of your fingers as we gently move up and down. And for those who know about this exercise, I want you to hear how squeaky this isn't. You know, it's again, I teach it on our our uh, our website. How do you can break a subtle sizer in so that they're all very, very quiet. But um, focusing on your fingertips, as you feel the pressure at the tips of your finger, that's what you want to feel. Now we're going to relax our shoulders, our back, and our buttocks. And if you need to hold on to the bar now, go ahead and hold on to the bar. But we want to just do a gentle movement up and down. We're going to do this for, oh, Brooklyn, do you have a timer? Good. Let's do this for uh, let's do it for a good couple minutes. Now, when you're getting ready to go to sleep at night, it's good to do this also. It's the same thing. You get rid of the stress and tension in the body so you can go to sleep. You don't have to toss and turn to get rid of this. So it's gentle moving up and down. And I hear a little creaking in my solar sizer, so it's been probably over a year since I've oiled it, so I'll probably oil it next time. <sighs> okay, if you want to, visualize a place that you like to be. Literally take yourself out of your current environment mentally and send a message to yourself and to your, your body that you're near a lake or at a beach or on a boat or in the mountains or whatever it is that you like. And then just gently move up and down and you can close your eyes if you hold on to the balance bar and just see, visualize, and see, see how you feel. You create that in your mind. Create how you want to feel in that, uh, in that mental image as you're just gently moving up and down. It's really a great escape. It really is. How are we doing, Brickman? Uh, right, what? One minute? One minute? Yeah. Okay. So just enjoy that. Now I'm going to just kind of drop the shoulders and the knees a little bit. We're going to continue to massage the body. And now we're helping to move circulation between the joints. So that's, that's the purpose of this. This movement up and down is taking the lymph system and it's creating more of a pumping action as well. So if you're stuffy or have a head cold and you're gently doing this movement, it can help free up the blockages and open the circulation. So, so this is really good. And if you're ever going to do any kind of yoga movements or any athletic activities, this is a good movement to do before you actually do those activities because it helps open up the hips too. The hips are dropping into the mat and we're starting to loosen up the lower lumbar as well. So we're just going to do this for a few moments. You can move your neck around a little bit, but do it gently. And as you're lifting those shoulders up and down slightly, you're, um, you're loosening up the shoulders as well. And there's huge dynamic. And for those of you who know, 
if you take your hands and just grab those shoulder muscles, you can feel how amazing the, the Cellulosizer is in helping to create that massage effect. Okay, now we're going to do a gentle twisting motion. So we're going to be working on our lower back. We're also working on all the internal organs as well. So again, you can hold on to the bar. Keep everything relaxed. This is not for building up strength right now. This is just for gently loosening up the body. And on the gentle twist, there's a couple ways of doing it. Um, one is just with your hips, which is going to target more of the lower back. The other one is you're twisting in the hip socket area with the back. And this helps. This is one of the ones that I teach for people that have issues with sciatic and sciatica. It helps to open up the whole hip area. Again, a great movement for uh, before you're doing yoga or some of the other activities you might be interested in. Okay, so now we're going to do just a gentle rocking side to side. I'm going to work the knees just a little bit here, but the, the purpose is to get circulation to the knee and the joint area. So when we sleep at night, we've increased circulation, especially for those who are standing around a lot during the day. You have a lot of pressure on that joint. And gently opening that up, opening those knees up and increasing that circulation can be very helpful. But we're also strengthening the lateral muscles that help support, support that, uh, that knee area. Okay, now what we're going to do, and there's a couple ways of doing this. We're going to loosen up the back. We're going to work on the hamstrings a little bit. And if you, you want, you can grab the balance bar. And you, just so you're going to bend over a little bit. And you can hold on to that bar. So you're comfortable. If you're a little more flexible than that, you can actually bend at the knees slightly. We're going to grab the frame and we're going to start to gently, well, let's do it this way first. Gently lean to the right a little bit and kind of pull your foot up. And we're just going to gently loosen up the back and loosen up the hamstrings. Now, as we're getting a gentle movement up and down, you felt how the shoulder muscles were gently being massaged. Well, now we're doing it with, with every other area of the body, too. And then you want to kind of lift your back area up some so that you can feel those, those muscles opening up and stretching some. Okay, now we're going to do the other side. And if you take your hands and while you're holding it, if you're able to just gently tilt backwards slightly, you'll get a little bit more stretch in the back and in the leg. And we're going to do it again. Some of you may hear your back actually pop. That's all right. Okay, and one more time this way. And then we're going to take it to another level. But if, you're, if all you can do is stand here and hold on to the bar, that's fine. That's fine. What we're doing is we're loosening up and massaging the tissue and the ligaments while we're pumping circulation and causing the tissue to gently be massaged. Okay, now... I want to stand up first, and we're going to do a gentle movement again. 
So it can help loosen up those muscles in the back. You don't have to work hard on the solar saucer. You all know this. We play on it. It works on us. That's why we say, why work out when you can play in? <clears throat> okay, now this time we're going to do it a little differently. Okay, a few more moments. Is that we're going to, for those who can, you can either bend at the knee or if you're flexible enough, you can just reach down here and grab the frame and gently bounce up and down. Now, if you're having to bend your knees, you can lean back a little bit and do the same thing. So it's a little different. It's kind of like cherry pickers. I don't know if you remember those, but you spread the feet apart and just kind of go back further and further and further. Well, that's stretching. What cellar size is doing is massaging. So as it massages that tissue, it automatically becomes more flexible. And so, and if, if all you can do is hold on to the bar and get over a little bit, that's okay. And then we can, if you're able, we can do a gentle rocking. Make sure you hold on to that frame well. Don't let your feet get out from underneath you, but that gentle rocking motion. Now we're working the hamstrings. And if you take your feet, and you'll feel this, this will work the feet too. You lift your feet up a little bit, you rock gently on your heels. You'll feel that, that stretch all the way up and down the, the heel area. And then, and then standing here and just gently bouncing. Okay, and now we're going to release this. We're going to go back to the gentle stretching here. And while you're doing this twist, you can actually lift the shoulders up and down a little bit. So you're moving fluid through the spinal column of the back and to the vertebral joints and the disc in the joint. Very gentle. We'll do more in another session. But if you have particular issues or areas that you want to focus on, by all means, please let me know. We're going to end up again with the health or the baby bounce. We want to put our fingertips straight down. Feel that pressure at the tips of your finger. If you can hold on to a bar or something, I would recommend holding on to it. So now we close our eyes and relax. Shoulders, back, buttocks, Face, <laughs> neck. Socks, bare feet, or shoes? No shoes. Um, hmm. Yeah, the, the shoes can cause more problems. Um, that's been our experience, unless you're under doctor's orders. But um, even inserts, you know, your foot will move, the muscles and ligaments will move to support your natural alignment as long as they're not restricted. And shoes are restrictive. So being barefoot or socks, the foot will move to support your alignment, not the alignment of the shoe. And so there's a time where as we're going through those adjustments, it may not feel all that comfortable. But the, the fascia and the foot is being massaged. The advantage, and if you have tension in the, in the foot and you move up and down and it's stretching that tension, good chance you're going to feel that initially. Um, as it becomes more flexible, then it generally fades away. But it's not like you're hitting a hard surface. You're not pounding the ground. So there's not a tearing taking place. There's just a gentle massage or stretching in that tissue area. Uh, I, don't, I don't know anything that has been as helpful as, as this has been, at least to me and a great many people that we work with. Okay, so as we're gently moving up and down, relax your face, your forehead, your, just relax, jaw, and work your way down your body. Relax your shoulders, your neck, 
your throat. And then just relax your buttocks, your abdominal area, just relax. You can bend at the knee slightly if you want. And we're just going to gently feel the movement up and down. I would suggest doing this, especially if you're getting ready to go to bed, about two, three minutes. And then go to sleep. You don't have to toss and turn to get rid of the stress or tension. I hope some of that will be helpful. I hope those are some of the techniques you'll be able to use. Um, some of those we will be adding to our new module on our Mr. Rebounder app. So, um, Um, and you're, most of you are familiar with it. I did want to show you something, but unfortunately, I already, I already logged in. If, oh, I'll show you on my phone. Okay. So, on the phone, if I want to do a workout, it says I'm logged out because I logged in on my iPad. Or somebody else may be using it. My son does this all the time. He's using the seller sizer, and it... Uh, logs me out for him to log in. So uh, we had some people that were concerned about it not working right. He said, no, that's, that's what it's supposed to do. And all you do is hit OK. And then I do the facial recognition. Wait a moment. It'll come back up. It looks just like it did before. Say yes to continue to log in. And then boom, it, it comes up. And then you can go and you can pick your routines. We've got the uh, aerobic health. We've got the weight loss. We've got several others. And we've got the advanced calisthenics, which we did last, last week. Dr. Lin actually gave us a <laughs> very intense interval training program as well. If you want to name any one of these, you can go in and you can clone it. You hit it and it says clone template. If you clone the template, it will copy everything in that particular movement. And then you can resave it under your personal um, workouts, under your workouts. And when you save it under your personal workouts, you can give it a name, you can put in a picture, so you can create your own personal library. Um, and it gives you control. Then you can go and you can change it up, you can change the time, you can change the movements, you can move the movements in different positions. Again, we created the Mr. Rebounder app so that it, um, it's something that will help you achieve your personal fitness goals and objectives. So it's not a one-size-fits-all fee. We've got a beginning, intermediate, advanced seniors, but that was the purpose of it. Um, some of those different movements that I had tonight, we'll be putting in new modules. We'll make those modules available soon. The Mr. Rebounder app is still on sale. And here's something I don't know if a lot of you know about, but when you get the Mr. Rebounder app, for as long as you maintain your subscription, your price will never go up. So you can have it for years. Um, the cost will go up. It's going to have to, because we're putting more into it and it's going to get more and more exciting. But those of us who have purchased it early on, have invested with us as we're developing it. Well, you've got, if you think of it, an equity position in that Mr. Rebounder app. Now, as we come up with new modules, if you want to add a module, there'll be a one-time charge to add the modules to your, your program, but your yearly costs won't go up. So it's just the way I am. But thank you. Thank you all for, for sharing the Solar Sizer with those you care about and you love, and especially in these difficult times. Um, I look forward to, we'll get back together in two weeks. If you have anything you would want to share with me or any questions you want me to address um, or any doctors you want me to work with, please feel free to give me a call and I'd be happy to, uh, to, uh, to discuss that with you. Thank you. Have a great week, great weekend, and we'll look forward to seeing you again. Remember, you don't have to work out when you can play in.